Hello everyone and welcome to this special Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture you will be learning IPv4 subnetting by example. In order to proceed you must have a solid foundational knowledge of basic subnetting principles. If you do not have this knowledge then I highly recommend that you listen to my uh, two IPv4 subnetting mini lectures and then uh, come back and listen to this lecture uh, after you're done. Without further ado let's proceed with our first example. In this example we will be subnetting address 99.0.0.0 slash 8 and our subnetting criteria is that we want to subnet in order to provide uh, 510 usable hosts per subnet. Other questions we will be answering in this example is to which class does the starting address belong to? Is this a public or private address? And calculate the new mask uh, required to provide 510 usable hosts. What is the number of subnets created? Uh, what is the new mask in Cedar notation? And six, what is the dotted decimal notation? Answer to the first question is this address belongs to a class A. Second question, is this a public or private address? It is a public address. Now to the subnetting. Calculate the new mask required to provide 510 usable hosts per subnet. Recall we, that we have three formulas, 2 to the b, 2 to the h minus 2, and 32. Everything has to be equal to 32 in IPv4 subnet. So 2 to the b, that is 2 to the exponent of number of borrowed bits, equals number of subnets. 2 to the h, that is 2 to the exponent of number of host bits, minus 2, is the number of hosts per subnet. And 32, or magic number, everything has to be equal to 32. So host bits plus borrowed bit plus the original number of network bits have to be equal to 32. So in this case, we apply this formula. That is, 2 to the minus 2 must be greater or equal to 510. So our objective here is to find the smallest value of h that meets this criteria. So let's simplify this equation to 2 to the h is greater or equal to 512. And what value of h, what smallest value of h meets this criteria. So if h equals 8, uh, then 2 to the 8 is 256. Uh, and 256 is not greater or equal to 512. So cross this out. h equals 9. Uh, 2 to the 9 equals 512. And bingo, uh, 2 to the 9 is uh, greater or equal to 512. In fact, it is equal. Now if h equals 10, uh, 2 to the 10 would be equal to 12, or sorry, 1024. Uh, this one also meets the criteria, however, it's not the smallest value of h. Uh, we would be left with too many unused addresses. Wasted IP address. So here, our calculations have led us to a value of h equals 9. All right, now that we have uh, the value of h, let's uh, erase some things and make room uh, to calculate the new mask. To illustrate uh, what the new mask is, let's uh, start by drawing out uh, the, the mask that we started with. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is our original mask with 8 network bits and 24 host bits. We have determined that we require h or 9 host bits 
meaning that the rest of the host bits can be transformed into network bits. So if we redraw our mask with the exceeding host bits reassigned as network bits, uh, we will figure out what our new mask is in 32-bit binary format. And voila, this is our new mask. Our new mask in Cedar notation is 8, plus 8, uh, plus 7, which gives us 23, so slash 23. And in a dotted decimal is 255, 255, 254, uh, dot 0. Now an alternate way of determining what our new mask is, is simply, simply subtract 9 from the original number of host bits. We only need 9, so we have 15 bits that we can give away or transform into network bits. So these, by transforming 15 host into network bits, we've added 15 to the original, recall, at the top here. We have a slash 8, so 15 plus 8 equals 23. Looking at our new mask again, we have here, this represents our B value, B, the number of bits we've transformed from host to network is equal to 15. We will need this uh, for our next question. So the number of borrowed bits, or the number of bits, host, original host bits transformed into network bits is 15. We've determined in our previous slide that B was equal to 15. Therefore, what is the number of subnets we've created? It is 2 to the 15, which equal, equals 32,768 subnets. So by borrowing 15 bits, we have subnetted this address into 32,768 new networks. What is the new mask in Cedar notation? Well, we've already calculated that in our two slides uh, ago. It's a slash 23. And a slash 23 converted to a dotted decimal is, as calculated a few slides ago, 255, 255, 254 dot zero. This is the end of the example. I hope you tune in uh, to the next uh, example. Uh, that And uh, talk to you soon.